The definition of an electric field is the electric force exerted on a charged particle per unit charge. Just like how all objects with mass produce a gravitational field, all particles with charge produce an electric field. By convention, electric fields show the direction that a positive particle will experience a force. So if I have an electric field pointing to the right, a positive particle inside it will experience a force pointing to the right, while a negative particle will experience a force to the left. If we have some sort of weird curvy field, it would be the same. A positive particle at this location in the field would experience a force pushing it upwards, slightly to the right. A negative particle at the same position would experience a force pushing it down and slightly to the left. Think about your experiences with electrostatic charge. That time when you rub the balloon against your hair and it stuck to the balloon? The longer you rub the balloon, the more hair sticks. More force is required to hold up more hair. So the longer you rub the balloon, the more force it gains from electrostatic charge. We also know that the longer you rub the balloon, the more charge is exchanged. So it makes sense that the force will increase as charge increases. The next question would then be, exactly how much force does a charged particle experience inside an electric field? Well, the force exerted by an electric field on the charged particle is given by F equals E times Q, where F is the force in newtons, E is the strength of the electric field in newtons per coulombs, and Q is the charge in coulombs. If we just look at the units on this equation, then it's newtons per coulombs times coulombs. The coulombs cancel, and we end up with newtons, which is the unit for force. So the units make sense. As the charge increases, the force increases, which is what we expect from real life experience. This equation also tells us that the force increases as the strength of the electric field increases. So a stronger field will exert a stronger force on the charged particle. We can't see electric fields, but we can see the effects they have on their surroundings, such as when your woolen jumpers stick together in the dryer.